Hello friends, my name is Said Rustai. In this video, I will explain the hardware configuration of our laboratory setup. Here we have a protection relay, which is a 7SJ, C Protect 7SJ from Siemens, and secondary test kit, which is a Omicron CMC 256 6. We can connect, uh, we can inject three phase voltage and current throughout this combination socket. Combination socket and this one is a three, at the end of this combination socket we have the cables for voltage and current this is for three phase voltage and this one is for three phase current which is labeled it so we can connect it, these uh, cables to the appropriate terminals based on the manual of the relay you should go to the manual of the relay under the diagram assignment and uh, do the wiring based on that uh, diagram assignment if you go to the manual you will find this UH plus UH minus is for power supply we should connect this terminals to the power supply I connected this to the 220 volt AC you should check the MLFP of the relay and uh, connected these terminals to the appropriate voltage maybe your voltage is different so you should check the MLFP of the relay here is the digital output trip signal we can connect uh, this to the binary input of the uh, test kit and uh, we can monitor the trip signal here is for voltage terminals, three phase voltage, V1, V2, V3, and Vn. We should connect it to the R15, R17, R18, and R16, uh, V1, V2, V3, and Vn. So we should uh, check the manual and then do the wiring based on the manual, based on the diagram assignment, because for each relay is different. You should check the manual, then connect it to this three phase voltage and three phase current. Also, we have the three phase current configuration like this i1 i2 i3 in which we should connect it to the module q q1 q3 q5 q7 at the end also we should connect q2 to q4 q4 to q6 so this connection also should be done this is for voltage and current for trip for power supply also we should connect it this uh, module this is a e, uh, en100 module which we can connect it this uh, connect it to the PC and configure throughout the DIGSY software. Also, we can connect it this to the IEC 61850 network and uh, we can send the signal with this protocol. We have two ports also for configurations, serial ports from the rear panel. Also, we have another serial port from the front panel also for configuration of the relay. So we will do many experiments based on this setup. Please follow our page and website www.facebook.com slash IEC61850. So for future video, please follow our page. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good time. Bye bye.